Pamela and you are on Pamela's Adoring Crochet. I'd like to say welcome to my channel and welcome to my yarn room. Uh, grab you a cup of coffee, grab you something to drink, sit back and relax, and let's just enjoy some good old crochet yarny talk. Um, this is my cup for the day. First coffee, second yarn, three speak, and in that order. <laughs> Today it is Starbucks vanilla coffee. Mm, and it is so good. I need another drink. <laughs> ah, <laughs> that is so good. Nothing like a first drink of coffee of the day. <laughs> okay, guys, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, before we get started, I just want to say this, you know, crochet is a lot like being a magician. You mumble to yourself, you wag a little stick around, and voila, and no one has a clue how you did it. <laughs> That's funny, guys. Let's move on. Um, I'd like to start with, um, as you saw in the intro, the little Mickey Minnie Mouse thing. Well, my sister Tanya, thank you, Tanya, she made this for my grandbaby, Charlie May. She made the blanket, and all I did is put the little face on it. No big deal. So thank you, Tanya Tucker. That is my sister. But here's her blanket that she made, and there's the little head on there. She did a wonderful job on this. Isn't it just beautiful? So, and um, if you notice the color changes in the pink, which I think is really cool, they're actually the same one, but apparently different lot numbers. <laughs> and so it turned out like that, which I think is just perfect. It gives it personality. Um, it's just beautiful. But yeah, this is what we came up with and um, the the way we want the wanted the colors to flow. And I think she just did a wonderful job. Thank you, Tanya. She is going to love this. So yeah, <laughs> the yarn she used is mainstay, black, white, and let's see, the pink. I think she used a, um, mm, maybe a 4.5, it's either 4.5 or 5 millimeter crochet hook on this, and it's just a regular granny stitch. So on the pink, because the black and white is just big twist black and white, and the pink is bubble gum. And, um... So yeah, it's just beautiful. So thank you, Tanya, for making that. Jennifer, my daughter, is going to love it for her little girl, Charlie Mae. Uh, she made a Mickey Mouse one, and so now she's made Charlie Mae one. <laughs> this is so sweet. Okay, guys, um, now that I've showed you the blanket, let me show you, I'm going to do in fast speed of how I put the little face on. And um, it's just really simple, but it's going to be in fast speed. So let's just take a little look at that. Okay, we're back. <laughs> All right, wasn't that cool? Um, I just made three circles and then I made a rectangle and turned it into a bow and then I just slipped them, slip stitched them on there. It was that easy. So if you wanna make one, just make your granny stitch, do the colors however you wanna do them. There's no certain order. And um, I used the, my basket tutorial, actually the bottom. For the face, I did rows one through nine and for the ears, I did rows one through five. And uh, for the little uh, bow, I just chained seven and then I did six single crochets 
and I'm not sure how long, how many rows I did. I don't know, probably 10, 15, however many I thought looked good on there. Um, and I used a six millimeter crochet hook for um, the ears, the face, I mean, yeah, the face and for the hair bow. I just used the same hook for all of that. So my little wag, <laughs> wag the stick. <laughs> anyway, well, let's um, see what else I have. Um, the pig outfit. This should hopefully will go out today. This pattern. Uh, it's really cool. It's the gown. And as you can see, I have the other two outfits that go with it. So hopefully I can get this out this week. and uh, Or at least maybe even today. I don't know. But we'll see. So thank you guys for buying the little pig theme type doll outfits. I appreciate that very much. Um, my basket. I did bring in my February. We're doing the monthly we're doing a basket a monthly basket crochet along for the year on this channel and that this is the one i did for february it's just my it's done with one um uh, one strand of yarn instead of the three and i did that because i knew that it was going to be small and i just wanted it for like like a little candy dish and i did um just a shell stitch around the top so if you want to make one like this yeah, that's what I did. So I have the ones that, oh, I forgot my white. But I do have my colors for March. And it is green, yellow, and it's going to be white. The white, um, I guess I left it in my um, <laughs> my three-tier cart that's in the other room <laughs> where I'm working. So anyway, the yellow that I plan on using is the Super Saver Bright Yellow. And the green that I plan on using is Lime. And it is made it's red heart with love metallic the green so i'm putting three strands together for this basket that's what it's going to be and i can't remember what size of hook we're using for that it's the pink hook i know that um so <laughs> i'm so bad um okay let's go ahead and do our be still and no devotion <laughs> undeniable trust Surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Matthew 28, 20. Have you heard a personal story that made you weep? Have you watched as someone overcame undeniable odds and still clung to Jesus? Were you in awe or did you have confidence that you would react the same in a tragedy or difficult situation? Our response to shattered dreams is incredibly important in our spiritual walk. No matter how we feel, our job is to have complete trust and confidence that God is with us, walking right alongside us, holding our hand. We are called to love Him even when it feels like He's not there. We are called to be faithful even when it doesn't feel like He's faithful back. He is. Trusting in God is pleasing to Him. He does the rest of the work for us. Isn't that beautiful? God, I'm facing a tough circumstance and I know I need to press deeper into You. Help me to reach out to You in the hard moments. Your love truly is the best remedy. Okay, guys. Um, I'm so glad you enjoy that as much as I do. Uh, tomorrow is Whip Caddy Wednesday, so get those whip carts in. I've got a few emails. I've seen that some of you guys have been posting in the Facebook group page. So if you have a whip space, whip cart, whatever, just go ahead and um, post that picture and kind of give us an idea of what you're working on. And uh, we would love that. We'd love to be inspired. We need all that we can get. <laughs> okay, guys, that's all that I have for this video. Just remember to live life, have fun, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.